Daddy has been very special over the years. He has been our rock and yet he has had to deal with the stroke, a heart attack and other illnesses. I was in work and uh, I felt my eye going very funny. I couldn't see out of my left eye properly. It was like looking through the bottom of a prison with sparklers. Uh, I spoke to a friend of mine and she said to me I should go home and I said, no, I'll be all right, it'll go away. And I persevered with it. Then when I did go home that night and I told my wife because it was still there, she sent for the doctor and the doctor, he came out and he says, no, you've had a stroke. And arranged for her to get me into the hospital. When I got out of hospital, I was dragging my left foot. Um, I still got numbness down the left side at times. And I found it very emotional. Um, things seemed to annoy me for some reason, I don't know why. And at times I burst into tears. But uh, apparently that's par for the course. He's helped me, I, I'm registered blind with a guide dog and my wee boy is only seven and they're there at the, he's there at the end of the phone to take me shopping, to take me to the library, to read letters for me, you know, day-to-day -day things that people don't think about you need to be done. And that's a big strain on them, on him too because he's running like, he's between two households and yet he never complains and he never says no. Well, basically I'm a, a half full glass person and... Uh, I have had my down times, but mostly it's up. And I, I believe as a family we help each other and we work together. To me, he is the most courageous man in my world and that's, that's why I put him in for the award. And when I phoned my dad and told him, he was really choked up, he couldn't speak. So he couldn't and mum said he had tears in his eyes. So I think now he realises how special and how courageous he really is. I just keep on, keep on going as long as I can keep possibly can and enjoy life and enjoy doing the things that I want to do.